Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we learned that in Mule 4, flows always function synchronously unless you use a sync scope to call any event processor or any flow using flow reference. However, there are other ways also to make your overall process asynchronous and achieve loosely coupled application. Using a messaging service like JMS is one of the most common ways of achieving a loosely coupled application. However, if you are using messaging within one Mule application, then you don't have to use JMS. Rather, you can use Mule 4's VM connector. In this video, I will show you how you can use VM connector to create a queue, publish message to the queue, consume message from the queue synchronously as well as asynchronously. So let's start. Let's create a Mule project. VM demo. So it created a configuration file as well with VM demo. And let's use HTTP listener as a trigger point for our service. And let me give it a URL as VM demo v1. And let's create a connection configuration as well. We will we'll keep everything as default. We'll click on OK. So now we have created one main flow, VM demo flow, and we created a listener, HTTP listener, which is listening to the path VM demo slash v1. And if we come here to the mule palette and we write VM stands for virtual machine, we have four operations consume, listener, publish, publish, consume. So as of now, create let's use publish which is used to publish a message to a queue so under this publish we have this connection configuration we we'll click on this plus icon to create a queue first and if we scroll down under the queues we'll use edit inline and in edit inline we can click on this plus icon to create a queue so let's first create a queue first queue Q type we can keep it transient uh, or persistent is uh, for reliable data like where you losing data is not an option otherwise you can use transient and click on finish we can create multiple queues from here like second queue third queue whatever you want let's keep first queue as of now and i'll click on ok let's give it a queue name as first queue the one that we just created and let's save it so now what it will do is it will publish the payload to first queue now we can listen to that queue so i'll use another vm connector listener in a different flow altogether and i'll configure it to listen to the same let me refresh it and it will listen to the first queue and we are using the same vm config here And now just to see what the flow is going to be, let me set a payload first. So we'll call this payload as publish payload. So it's just a text value that we are adding into the payload. Now this publish payload will, will be published using this publish connector to first queue and then the this listener will read the payload from first queue and will process whatever the request that needs to be processed it is something similar to creating a subflow or a private flow and calling using the flow reference but now we are using a messaging service we are publishing a message and then we are listening to that message and to understand the flow of it let me use some loggers here so this is main flow start logger and this is main flow end logger and just add one more logger here which could be subflow logger
all right now just to understand we have used two operations of vm connector publish a message and we are listening to that message and in vm config we have created one queue which is called first queue now let's deploy it and run the application So the service is deployed. Let me open my advanced REST client and call this HTTP listener so that the entire flow gets executed. Here you go, localhost 8081 and the path that we gave to our listener. Let's run it. And payload response is publish payload, which we hard coded as part of set payload. Now we need to check the logger. How it should have worked is main flow start logger and then it uses publish and it asynchronously reads the data the listener asynchronously reads the data so now it either could be main flow end logger or subflow logger because now it is an asynchronous call between flow one and flow two now let's see how it is so it's main flow start main flow end and then subflow logger so which means it it proves that data passes to the next event processor and it does not wait for this particular data so in order to call it synchronously we have another vm operation which is called publish consume so what this operation does is it publishes the data someone consumes the data or listens to the data and then returns back the data to the same connector and then it proceeds further just to test it let's configure it so we'll use the same first queue here and let me remove this publish from here now it will publish the message listener will listen to the message it will it will execute all the event processors that are part of this flow and then it will return the payload publish and then this final logger will be executed so let me save it it will auto restart the application so it is started now let's test it so as you can see publish payload but now when we see the logger now first the main start should execute then subflow logger and then the end logger because now it is calling it synchronously so main flow subflow and main flow logger similarly this consume operation is when you want to consume message within a flow so right now as you can see here consume can never be part of source so it is not actively listening to the message but within your flow if you need to consume message from a certain queue then you can use this consume so this is the difference between this consume and listener also whatever the payload that you update here will be updated as part of publish consume so for example if i set payload here to rather than publish payload if i say consume payload here So now what this will do is publish consume operation sends the payload called publish payload and now this particular flow updates the payload and sends it back so the now the response should be consume payload let's see if it has restarted the service or not so it has started the application now let's test it here you go so it changes the payload as well so that's how you can use this vm connector for internal messaging and to achieve loosely coupled features however mule does support jms as well where you can publish message to a jms queue topic whatever and then a different application or even the same application can consume message from that particular application we will use that as well we will do a demo on this jms as well using the active mq but in the subsequent tutorials 
Thank you so much for your time. Take good care of yourself. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye-bye.